There seems to be a rift in the Congress party over the appointment of Satasivam as the Kerala governor. Now, Manish Tiwari says uh, that he cannot attribute motives to the appointment as the Congress too has included jurists in the past. However, the party spokesperson, Anand Sharma, has opposed the move, saying that he speaks on behalf of the Congress party and that he cannot comment on someone who is not speaking on the party's behalf. Well, the fact remains uh, there is no constitutional or legal bar on a former Chief Justice of India accepting the position of a governor if his conscience so allows. In fact, a large number of retired judges head uh, very, very important tribunals after retirement. So therefore, if the legislature uh, or the government thinks that retired judges uh, should not hold any position post-retirement, then they'll have to bring a law uh, in that regard. Because uh, it would be worth recalling that in the early 90s, uh, the Congress brought a uh, former Chief Justice of India, Shri Ranganath Mishra, to the Raj Sabha uh, from Odisha. So, under those circumstances, uh, if at all there is some concern, you know, with regard to these appointments, uh, there is a need, you know, for a fuller debate and to see as to how uh, the debate would then crystallize. Uh, but to uh, really attribute motives or point fingers uh, at a particular gentleman mm -hmm. uh, is completely uncalled for. Your colleague in the party, Manish Tiwari, says that you know you cannot question a person's credential or integrity just because he's been... I do not comment on uh, individuals who are not speaking on behalf of the Congress. But you're saying that no, the Congress view... The Congress view was what was articulated by me. We are not questioning the integrity. At, at no stage I questioned. Yes, surely. There has to be something special, which is liked by the Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi and the present dispensation. Otherwise, why the others? Did they not have credentials or integrity? So are you saying this is the Congress view? There's no division per se within the Congress? The Congress has spoken... As governor of Kerala. What I said was the party position. The Chief Minister has not been consulted. Established norms have been bypassed. Established traditions has been thrown to the winds. And it's a fundamental question of the independence of judiciary. Should judiciary now be made open to post-retirement benefits and political appointments? It's a fundamental question. Nandita Soneja is reporting on this. Nandita, two senior leaders of the party openly contradicting each other. Now, what are you getting from your sources? What is the reason behind this open contradiction? Well, yesterday the Congress took an official stand when Anand Anand Sharma uh, responding to a question put a question mark and said that perhaps there is something that the former Chief Justice of India has done to please Narendra Modi and Amit Shah, and that's why he's got that coveted position of Governor of Kerala. Today, less than 24 hours later, Manish Tiwari, who has served as a minister in the UPA government, uh, contradicts the party's view and says that one cannot attribute motives just because a former judge has been given a constitutional post. In fact, he goes to the extent of giving an example where the Congress has done something similar itself in the case of Ranganathan Mishra. Uh, so clearly the opposition is completely divided on whether they will attack the government mm. on the appointment of uh, the Chief Justice, former Chief Justice Sata Sivam as Governor of Kerala, or uh, do they see this as uh, in accordance with constitutional norms? Right, Nandita, thanks for that update.